All right, next question is, what type of exercise should I spend most my time doing? Very good question. So in a perfect world, I think that most people should let exercise build their body, specifically their muscle and their bone, and let nutrition cut off the fat, okay? I don't necessarily believe in working out in a way that burns more calories because I haven't seen it done effectively and I haven't read any study that shows that any type of exercise that focuses only burning on calories is the most beneficial way to exercise, all right? The way that I've seen it done in practice and the way that I've read about it in research is that you wanna prioritize building muscle so that you can increase the amount of calories you burn at rest. So that means that someone with my level of muscle mass versus someone with who's just you know kind of stick and bones uh, sitting on a couch both equally sitting on a couch burning the same amount of calories in the sense that we're not doing anything active i'm going to burn way more calories than he or she because i have more muscle mass and muscle mass takes calories to keep on your body um, so exercise that that prioritizes building muscle and bone by the way so for instance, women who have osteoporosis have been shown through resistance training, so weight training, to dramatically reverse osteoporosis by simply just lifting weights. Because when you lift weights, your body naturally goes, holy crap, we have to support more weight, we, we're very active, we're doing all this stuff, we need to build that bone up. Um, so a lot of times, my prescription for women that have osteoporosis or have a history of it <clears throat> in their family is to immediately start weight training. And I'm not saying you have to go under a barbell and start doing you know, 300 pound squats, but you have to do some type of resistance, which can simply just be your body weight to start off with. So I think that the best form of exercise is any type of resistance training. And that's going to depend a little bit on your current ability level. If you haven't worked out in you know, five to six years or maybe ever, you probably just wanna start off with body weight stuff, especially in the very beginning. If you're very overweight, you know, 50 or more pounds overweight, um, you know, maybe even 100 pounds overweight, I would highly recommend just doing body weight stuff at the very beginning because your own body weight is a weight. And until you start losing more and more weight and start becoming a little bit more active and your muscles are more functional and structurally sound, then you can start picking up external weights versus just your body weight. So if you only have a certain amount of time to exercise during the week, pick resistance training, even if that's just a body weight workout, right? Use your own body for the weights. Um, if you're someone who's already used to going to the gym, spend most of your time, if not all your time, uh, resistance training. All these people out here that are saying, you know, you should go running, you should do this because it burns the most calories, they don't really not only know what the right thing is, but they don't work with people multiple hours a day seeing what actually works. They hear something on CNN, or the CNN they give health advice. They hear something on the internet, they hear something on Good Morning America, someone drank this tea and they lost 40 pounds. It's all bullshit. Um, that's never happened, uh, unless they were also not eating as much, right? So that, that's something to keep in mind. Um, so you should spend most of your time doing resistance training. And that's gonna depend, you know, what type of resistance training you do is gonna depend on your current ability level.